Today we're gonna make ourselves a do-it-yourself fire pit. Cause ours is garbage. The whole entire bottom completely fell through. We picked up 128 of these bricks from Home Depot for 52 cents a piece. They were the cheapest ones we could find. And we're gonna stack them all in a big circle and have ourselves a little fire pit. My best advice is to wear gloves. Because these bricks are really sharp and they have sharp edges and they'll cut you and scrape you and all sorts of things. Ivy is not helping us, so she is not wearing gloves. Babies don't have to wear gloves because they can't help. This is our fire pit. We dug a hole in the ground, but you don't have to do that. You can do it on the surface. We want our fire pit to be the same circumference as this basin that we have here. It's about 35 inches wide. What we're gonna do is turn it over so that we have the same circumference for the fire pit that we're gonna make out of bricks. Now I have my area prepped and we're gonna stack the bricks all around this old fire pit. You don't have to have something that's this big around. It's just something we had, so that's what we use. But you could cut something out of cardboard or wood and make a smaller circle. A couple of important points to remember is that, first of all, the bricks are always adjustable. So if you're off just a little bit, just you know, shift each brick around to make it work out. The other thing that's the most important is make sure that your base layer that you start, make sure that it's all level, that all of the bricks are level with each other. It was a little easier for me to do this project because I did it in sand. <laughs> and so sand is a little bit more flexible than dirt sometimes. That's also if you decide to do it in the ground. If you do it above ground, you're probably not gonna run into as much issues with leveling, but you wanna make sure definitely that your, that your base layer is level, otherwise the whole thing's gonna tilt. Are you listening? If you have any bricks left over, you have two choices. You can either take those back and get your money back, or you can make a little design or something in the bottom of the fire pit. You can see I made a wall with the extra bricks I had left over, right there, all the way around the inside. Now sit back, relax, and enjoy your new fire pit. See you next time. <laughs>